Hi and welcome to another episode of Lockdown Food Diaries with me, RJ Sadeep. Today is a bit refreshing because I've come for coffee and I've not had to go too far away from my house because in hardly 50 steps from my house, there's this new cafe that's open. I was pretty surprised actually because um, I was browsing Google Maps and a cafe called uh, Cafe Mandala popped up and I'd never seen this place before though I keep uh, walking around my house in this area. I'd never seen this before so I, I came here today to check this place out so it's located inside uh, CFAL or ELC that is uh, Center for Advanced Learning and Early Learning Center so it's inside this building uh, it's a it's a college it's a tutoring institute so they have opened inside this building and it's a small nice cafe uh, kind of giving me the Bangalore vibes if if any of you have visited Ranga Shankara you'll know what I'm aiming at and uh, they have all types of coffees available here so the highlight is the kind of coffee they serve they have I think 15 plus varieties which I I already went inside and I've ordered uh, a lot of items they have some snacky items as well so I'm trying out a lot of these things I have my friend Alok with me and uh, the two of us are going to be trying out a lot of their items uh, the cafe is run by a girl called Anvita and uh, she knows her coffees really well so she was explaining to us the different uh, types of coffees available which one you should choose which one you shouldn't uh, what you would probably like and all of that so if you're not pretty sure of how to order a cup of coffee then uh, this is the right place to come to because you'll get all the background knowledge needed in ordering your coffee um, without further ado I'll take you inside and I'll show you the items that I've ordered and it's a really beautiful place and pretty quiet here on the road of course there's a bit of noise but once you go inside it's pretty quiet so that way that road leads towards Bharat Mall and on the opposite side that goes towards Infosys so it's on the uh, road between Bharat Mall to Infosys the bus stop name is Kotara Cross Road uh, anyone ask anyone for CFAL and they'll know where this place is so um, I'll take you inside I'll show you how the place is before you enter obviously masks on and uh, you need to sanitize your hands because it is necessary so that's the place over there yeah so make sure you wear your mask make sure you sanitize step number one there is a hand sanitizer that you need to use over there yeah, so and of course it is uh, you need to place an order first so um, they have a lot of items on the menu I'll show you what is there on the menu behind me now I'll just show that and then that is where you order that's where you place the order they have some uh, ready-made snacks as well to order from and all the coffee is pre uh, prepared on the spot here so uh, you'll get to see what is happening with regard to your coffee and the place ambience as you can see is pretty nice as well uh, around six to seven seats that's all there is around here but a pretty good place and I already ordered before uh, starting this video so I'll show you the items that we have ordered and I'll show you the menu as well So I've ordered a lot of items here. The bill was around 665 rupees for the two of us. Uh, but we have ordered pretty much a lot of items and I've ordered some uh, things to take away as well. So let me just quickly take you through what I've already ordered and what is here. So we have uh, the chocolate brownie here. This is the chocolate brownie and it's just 40 rupees. So this item is uh, 40 rupees and it is pretty moist, very moist. So you so that is how moist it is. I'll taste and show you each of the flavors in a bit. But before that, uh, this is the... Yeah. So more items have come. We have ordered... We have come here for the coffee. We are going to be trying out the coffee right now. This is the cinnamon roll. So it looks hot, looks fresh. And let me tell you, they run out of stock pretty fast because uh, 
we just got one of this. We wanted to order two of each items, but everything had run out. So this is the cinnamon roll, and this is the cold chicken sandwich, which is 80 bucks. It, it comes as a single piece, but we asked for it to be cut into half. So this is the cold chicken sandwich, and then. Uh, this is not a platter here. This is not a platter. They have just ordered items separately. So this is the veg quiche, which is 35 rupees. This is the chicken quiche, which is 40 rupees. And then the chicken cutlet and the veg cutlet, which should be around 40 rupees. Chicken cutlet is 20. I'm sorry. Chicken cutlet is 20 and veg cutlet is 15. Just look at the size of this. Absolutely worth it. Comes with, uh, I think, pudina chutney and tomato sauce. I will taste everything, don't worry. Um, before we go into the food though, I will just show you the coffees that we have ordered. So, in the cold coffee, they have two choices. There is the affogato and uh, there is the mocha. Mocha comes in the hot variant as well as the cold variant. But uh, I wanted something cold today, so I got the affogato. Two scoops of ice cream and uh, espresso, I think. I'm not very good with my coffees, but... Uh, yeah, this is the decoction, so you basically pour it into the decoction and stir it and make your own uh, So it's like a DIY kind of a coffee. This was around, I think, 150 rupees. Okay, it may seem a bit expensive, but then um, the quality of the coffee gives the kind of roasting that is done. They are specialists in their coffee, so I think that's pretty much worth it. This you would know if you have gone to any small uh, uh, Kattukada or whatever huts and all of these places, you'll know one chaya, one coffee. This is a very common thing. Um, this is the filter coffee and I think the price is around 40 rupees. I'm not too sure of the price of the filter coffee. I'll put it in the description. Comes with a shot glass, not of uh, lime tequila or anything. This is just sugar cubes to add to your liking. And that's about the things that we have ordered. Now, let me try out each of the items. Let me give you a quick overview. So let me start with a sip of coffee because we've come to a cafe and it'll be wrong if I don't start with the coffee. So, filter coffee. It's, it's different from the kind of coffees that you get outside. The outside coffees are generally thick. There's a lot of milk in it. This is very light. The, the flavor of the coffee is strong, but I'm talking about the consistency. It's very uh, light. So if you like more milk in your coffee, you can always ask them. Uh, they customize it as per your likings. I will show you the affogato in a bit because there's a little bit of mixing to be done. I'll start with uh, the sandwich. So this is the cold chicken sandwich. Brown bread is used, so it's a healthy option. And uh, the cafe itself is known for being very sustainable. They don't use uh, plastic cups and a lot of other things that I'll show you on the menu. So it's a place where they use organic ingredients and proper sourcing and all of that. Talking about the sandwich, it is quite different because of the brown bread. I can get some taste of cucumbers. There's uh, fresh mayo, I think, in it and the uh, taste of chicken as well. I think it's a very healthy alternative to all those, uh, you know, sauce-loaded uh, sandwiches that you get out in the market. Next up, I'll try the veg quiche. So this is a veg quiche. Pretty huge, pretty huge for the price. So not a lot of places serve quiche in Mangalore, so if you'd like to try out quiche, this is one of the places you must try it out because I liked it. I tried the veg one now, it's yummy. Um, at 35 to 40 bucks, it's pretty much a steal because there's a lot of stuffing in it. This is a chicken one, it's already crumbling so you can see how soft it is. completely filled with the minced chicken and veggies for the veg one so must try and I don't know this video is going to be long guys so please bear with me we have ordered so many items the cutlet I don't know which one this is this is the chicken or the veg one but chicken is 
Kalsi thin. Oh, this is wedge. Okay. Pretty hard to make out, but don't worry. On the counter, it's kept separately. We just mixed it on the plate here. Very nice. It it reminds me of those beetroot cutlets that you get. You know, for ten bucks, you get it at uh, stores which are like three days old, five days old. Uh, but this one is reminiscent of the taste, but the quality is really good. Um, it's bigger in size and it's very tasty. It's fresh. It's hot. Hmm. This is the chicken one. Yeah. So all the savouries that I tried, really good. Now let's move on to the cinnamon roll, which is sweet. It's getting pretty crowded here. Actually, I didn't expect it for a place uh, that's so hidden. So there's no board outside. There's a chance you'll miss this unless you know uh, that this place exists around here. This is uh, cinnamon roll. Not too overpowering. I thought it's going to be like you know the sudden uh, flavors of cinnamon would burst into your mouth, but nothing like that. It's a very easy thing to have. You can, I mean, it doesn't. Uh, uh, it's it's pretty hard to explain. It's it's very tasty, but it's something that you can have casually as well. So it's not uh, something that overpowers your tongue, and you know you don't want to have anything after that, before that, nothing of that sort. Quite nice. Um, I'm having a mixture of all the flavors in my mouth right now, but whatever I've had so far, pretty much enjoyed it. Now I'll just show you how this is made. I'm not even sure if this is how it's made, but I'm going to try making my own affogato. So there we have it. There's ice cream, there's coffee, there's me pouring it and making I don't know what. I really hope whatever I'm doing is right. If you have doubts, you can always go to the counter and ask. But I'm just pretty lazy to do that right now. Okay. It's pretty much um, done. Mix it, I guess. This looks like one of the experiments I do at home. <laughs> so, yeah. how to make cold coffee on your own? This is how. yeah. So that is about it. Let me just try it out. Um, I'll shift the camera one. So yeah, this is how it looks right now. Whoa! At first, I thought that's not enough coffee when I was pouring it into it, but this is strong. I love my coffee strong, so I'm not complaining. But whoa, this is strong. This is almost like three times of what you would have on a regular coffee day kind of coffee I love it, it's amazing so these are the list of items that are available here as you can see the pricing is pretty decent for uh, such a pretty cafe it's really worth it and a lot of items so from what I've seen on Google the things have increased so they have these quick bites that are absolutely worth it uh, there are some sweets as well so I ordered like a lot of items the quiche I ordered, I ordered the cutlets, the sandwich, the cinnamon roll, brownie, basically most of the things. I'm definitely coming back again because it's pretty close by to my place. Uh, next time I'm going to try that V60 pour over which is supposedly one of the better items here. And I already like what I had so I'm sure it's going to be better than what I ordered. And like I was telling you, it's all about sustainability here. No single use cups, local produce in reusable containers and all of that. So. No need to feel guilty about what you are ordering here. And this is the counter. So it's closing time right now. They close by 6 o'clock. So if you want to come here, uh, do come here earlier than 6. And that's where all the uh, ready-made uh, snacks are there. And that's where the coffee is prepared. So fresh in front of your eyes. Um, whatever kind of coffee you want, you can get it from the counter here. So, And just a look around this place. So this is how it looks that up there is the ELC uh, library if I'm not mistaken so, so yeah I like the fan also it's a very pretty fan obviously won't come on uh, camera but really the entire place is so pretty 
and again you go out left side that's towards bharat mall right side that's towards infosys uh, the nearest landmark is plama residency or people will know cfal as well so hope you guys enjoyed it i enjoyed my food i'm already full so i had eaten something in the afternoon and it was making me feel very drowsy so i decided to have a cup of coffee that's why i stepped out i came here and that coffee was powerful that was very strong um if anyone wants to try out a strong coffee i personally would recommend the avocado i have not tried the other items yet which i will do very soon but uh, for now i would definitely recommend you to try the avocado and the cutlets cinnamon roll was also really good so these are my favorites uh, if you have any other place that you want me to try you want me to check out uh, if there's some new place that i have not yet explored please do let me know i'll definitely uh, visit the place and give you a review and uh, details about this place will be in the description below thanks for watching